The expansion panel list. First, we will create a class item. This one will have three arguments inside the header text, the expanded text, and the is expanded. With this, we can now create a list of the item class called data. This one will be a list that generate of 10 items that will return the item class. We have the header text and the expanded text. Now inside a single child school view, we will create the expansion panel list. For the expansion callback, this one will return the current index and with the Boolean is expanded or not. We can now set state and say that the data that we have created, which is the list of generate items, following by the current index of each element that is expanded is equal to the invert of the is expanded. In very simple words, if this expansion panel is not expanded and we click on it, this one will set state and set the expansion panel as expanded. The children will be a data.map.expansion panel because each element of this expansion panel list is an expansion panel. And we convert this into a list. Inside the bracket, Yet, we will return the expansion panel. This one take a header builder, which will be a list style, and take a body, which is also a list style. You can see that on the untap function, we create a set state that will remove the data of the current item. In this way, if we click on this trash icon, this will remove the expansion panel from the expansion panel list.